This segment covers potential safety risks to the hands and wrist when performing the processes and tasks required while working in a nursery or greenhouse. Ergonomics is the study of human capabilities in relation to work demands. The hands and wrist are constantly used in any nursery or greenhouse operation. You trim, cut, prune, shear, and lop off plants and limbs hundreds of times during a typical workday. The simple repetitive nature of this work can cause injury to your hands and wrist, but you can also injure yourself through carelessness, improper use of a tool, not using proper safety equipment, and simply not paying attention to what you're doing. By developing an understanding of how your body and mind reacts to certain situations, you can learn how to protect yourself from injury and maintain good productivity on the job. Working in the nursery and greenhouse industry requires the use of many different hand tools. Perhaps the most used hand tool is the hand pruner. There are many types of hand pruners that are widely used. Shears, anvil and bypass pruners, large loppers, small needle nose pruners, and even electric and pneumatic models. All of these tools are designed for one primary purpose, which is to cut. They all share the same basic safety concern. They will not discriminate between cutting plant material or fingers. One of the main reasons for injuries when working with hand pruners is a lack of concentration. After you've been working for several hours, it's easy to get complacent and make a mistake. Make sure to pay close attention to what you're doing and maintain a high level of awareness when using these tools. Most injuries occur toward the end of the day when you are tired and more likely to lose concentration. Another sharp tool that is often used in the nursery industry is the grafting knife. One of the keys to making quality grafting cuts is having a very sharp knife. Because of this, small mistakes can lead to serious cuts. Extra care and attention should be taken when using these tools. When the knife is not being used, it should be placed in its protective sheath. Lifting heavy objects like a large container-grown tree can cause back injury, but it can cause hand injuries as well. Be aware of the potential for cuts from grabbing sharp edges. A simple check of the edge prior to grabbing an object could save you from a painful cut. Work gloves cannot protect your hands while they're being carried in your back pocket. If work gloves are available, use them. Even with proper tool use, some operations require the repetitive use of the hands and wrist. This is especially true of propagation activities. Taking cuttings, prepping cuttings, and sticking cuttings are all high ergonomic impact tasks. Repetitive motion injuries to the wrist and hand happen when these parts of the body are used in a non-neutral position. When the wrist is bent for an extended period of time, nerves and tendons in the wrist can become inflamed and cause pain. At times, poor wrist position can be caused by your body position related to the work surface. If your work surface is too high or too low, you might be forced to bend your wrist in order to perform a task. If possible, adjust your position to correct this. In these situations, it is important to periodically rest and stretch these areas of the body. Even short 20-second periods of rest and stretching can prevent repetitive motion injuries and reduce discomfort and fatigue associated with these activities. To stretch the fingers, perform the following exercise. Separate and straighten your fingers until the tension of a stretch is felt. Hold this for 10 seconds. Relax, then bend your fingers at the knuckles and hold this position for 10 seconds. Relax and repeat the first stretch once more. Stretching of the wrist can be accomplished by using your left hand to grab the fingers of your right hand. Pull so that your wrist is bent backwards. Hold this for 10 seconds. Repeat with the other hand. In both cases, these exercises can be performed once every half hour or so during periods of continuous work and at scheduled break times. It is important to remember that when performing these exercises, only stretch to a point where you feel a mild tension and relax as you hold the stretch. You can perform these exercises while sitting or standing, but at no time should you stretch to the point where you feel pain. To review, when using cutting tools, pay attention to what you're doing. When lifting heavy objects, be careful of sharp edges that may cause a cut. Be sure to rest and stretch your hands and wrist when doing repetitive tasks. Try to keep your hands and wrist in a neutral position as much as possible. Following these guidelines can help protect you from a hand or wrist injury.